The Holy Bible is the most precious and beautiful book on earth. There are wonders and prophecies and many more in the Holy Book of Bible. Let us see one out of it. The Mark of the Beast The Holy Bible has warned us about the Mark of the Beast. In Revelation 14.9, if anyone worships the beast and its image and receives a mark on his forehead or on his hand. So is this mark going to be literally written on the forehead or hand? Like people claim saying there will be a chip inserted on the forehead or on the hand. The Bible also says Revelation chapter 22 verse 4. They will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads. Again, is it going to be literally written on the forehead? With these two verses, it clearly says, God's people will have his name on the forehead and the Satan's people will have his name on the forehead. Are they going to be written on forehead? First of all, the name is the identity or label of a person, of whom they are and what they did. For example, when we say Sachin, your mind strikes of a cricketer. But there are many Sachin living on the earth. But when we say Sachin, we remember of what he's done for the country as a cricketer. That is registered in our mind. When it says, his name will be on their foreheads. It's not going to be just the name. It's not about the name which man made or man called him. Our God doesn't need a name to identify him like the other gods created by man. Because we have one and only God. We should know him for what he is. When it says it's written on the forehead, it's going to be what he did for us. As God created, heavens and the earth as he created Adam and Eve. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob and God who became flesh and dwelt among us and died for our sins and raised again on the third day and is to come and judge the living and the dead. This is what his name is for what he has done for us. When you believe this and register in your mind, it is written on your forehead. Let me make you more clear. Our brain has got many parts. I'm going to talk about the frontal lobe, which is the front part of the brain, which is the forehead. The frontal brain has got many functions like planning, decision making, memory, etc. Our decision making is written in our frontal lobe. When we make decision and accept that God became flesh and died for our sins and raised, not only this, we have to follow the Bible correctly as it is written and accept it. In Revelation chapter 22, 18, it's written, Let no one add or subtract from the Bible. So now, what is the mark on the right hand? Let's go back to the Revelation chapter 14 verse 9. If anyone worships the beast and its image and receives a mark on his forehead or on his hand, it's not going to be the physical mark on the hand. The physical mark can be removed, cut off from the body. But I will show you a few pictures of the mark on the hand. These are the marks which honors and confesses the beast. These marks cannot be removed from you until you repent and confess your sins and register in your frontal lobe that is your forehead 
by following the Holy Bible correctly and believing in the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. There are many false doctrines who deny the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Let's see Matthew chapter 24 verse 5. For many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ. Is it going to be an individual person coming like Christ? Let us look. Colossians chapter 1 verse 18. And he is the head of the body, the church. Please read 1 Corinthians chapter 12 completely. It says, We are the members of the Christ, which means Christ is the church. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ. It is the church that comes with different doctrines, like the Christ, which is the church. As I said, you, Christ is the church. 1 John chapter 2, verse 22, verse 23. He who denies that Jesus is the Christ, this is the Antichrist. He who denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son as the Father. Whoever confesses the Son as the Father also. So which means, if you accept only Son, you will not have Father in you. Or if you deny the Son, also will not have the Father in you. We have to believe in the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit and confess. As Christ is the head of the church, so the beast is the head of the other churches who teaches false doctrines. So many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ, which means many denomination comes saying everything correct about Christ but don't believe in Holy Spirit or don't believe in communion or don't believe in baptism denying Jesus Christ this is what the verse says so many will come in my name saying I am the Christ because Christ is the church and many come saying I am the church this is the only church and they will lead many away from the correct path. They come with the false doctrines, with different denomination, with different preaching. Anything that is contradicting the Bible is Antichrist. And these false doctrines, the sign of the and, is registered on your frontal lobe brain as a decision made or written on the forehead or on the right hand. This is the mark of the beast. Confess and see his face and his name will be on your foreheads. Take the right decision and write his name on your forehead by believing and accepting of what he did for us and by following the right scriptures according to his will. Amen.